Jumpstart friends. So today we're going to learn about musical instruments. We're going to take a look back at this book that we read together, A Birthday Basket for Tia. Does everyone remember it? Okay, perfect. So we're going to skip closer to the end when the party was going and we had the musicians. Do you remember musicians? All right. So now a musician is a person who sings or plays music. So here we see a, a musician with a horn, a musician with a violin, and a musician with a guitar. And we'll take a flip back to here, and you can see a better picture of the guitar and the horn. So now these items that you see, the horn, the guitar, and the violin are instruments. And an instrument is an object for producing musical sound. So all of these things in their own way produce a musical sound. So we're first, we're gonna talk about the horn. So here we see the horn and a horn is a type of instrument. The instrument type is called a wind instrument. And that's a musical instrument in which sound is produced by the vibration of air. So if you look closely, the man is blowing into the horn like this. like, And when you blow into it, it makes a low sound like And when you do your, your art center with Valeria, you'll make your own horn and you'll be able to feel the vibration of the wind. You'll be able to feel how the horn vibrates in your hand and a vibration um, produces a musical note. So that's what produces the sound. Now I'm going to show you a picture of other wind instruments. Let's take a look. So here are some other wind instruments. And if you look closely, they all have these little mouthpieces and that's where you would blow into so that they vibrate and make a musical sound. Now, depending on how hard or soft you blow depends on the volume. So if you blow soft, like you would have a softer sound, which is a sound with a low volume. It wouldn't be very loud, but what if you blew really hard? Like if you went like it would make a louder sound and a louder sound is when something raises in volume. So it would be very loud. Now I'm going to show you a picture of a harmonica. So here's a harmonica and it has a bunch of little holes that you put your mouth against here and you blow into it. And each hole, if you look very, very closely, I'll zoom in, they have numbers on top of the hole. And each hole in each number makes a different pitch. Now a pitch are different notes in a song or from an instrument. So now we're gonna watch a video of a little boy play his harmonica. Let's see. <laughs> So you have to do two things. One, Ryan, see this? You have to blow in this. <laughs> so, uh, you're so here, you heard that as the boy started from one end of the harmonica and went all the way to the other end, the pitches were different. They were deep pitches and high pitches. They were all different musical notes and it sounded really fun right it sounded really nice and fun to play so next we're going to talk about how there are so many other different kinds of instruments so another set of instruments are called percussion instruments and percussion instruments are any instruments that make sounds when you hit shake or scrape it so what's an instrument you could think of that you could hit? If you go boom, 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 boom. What kind of instrument can you play that goes like that? Right, a drum. Or how about an instrument that you shake when you shake and it makes noise? Right, maracas. So here, 
are different kind of percussion instruments. We have a piano, we have an xylophone, a tambourine, and look, some drums, maracas, a triangle, so many different kinds of instruments that when you hit or shake them, they make musical notes. And another kind of instrument that we could talk about today are stringed instruments. So the stringed instruments are kind of musical instruments that have strings. Now we could see these in the book, um, A Birthday Basket for Tia, where the guitar has strings and the musician uses his fingers to strum the strings. Now to strum means to move your thumb up and down the strings. So when he holds it, he moves his thumb up and down the strings to make musical notes. And then here is a violin, another stringed instrument. And for a violin, you use a, something called a bow and you rub them against the strings and the vibration of the strings from the violin and the guitar rattle around inside the hole like you can see the little holes they rattle around in there and then it makes the musical notes so i'm going to show you a picture of some other stringed instruments so here we saw the guitar a violin a viola is like a slightly bigger violin and then you have a cello which is like a super big violin and a double bass which is an even bigger violin but they all make different kinds of noises at different volumes. So now I'm going to show you a video of someone strumming their finger to play the guitar. So here's the video of someone showing you how you strum the strings of a guitar. Oop, I'm gonna put it close so you can see in here. You know, you just make do with what you got, but um, all you gotta do for strumming is that. All right? So go ahead and make sure your G chord sounds like my G chord. How did that sound? Hope it's pretty good. So that's pretty cool, and it sounds really nice, right? Now, when you play musical instruments, usually you play it to play a song, and songs will have a beat. And a beat is a rhythmic movement. So now we're going to play a game and we're going to create our own beats. So I'll do a beat and then you guys have to copy me. So we're going to use claps. And then when I say pat, you have to pat your legs. Okay, you can't see my legs, but you're, you know where your legs are. You have to pat them, okay? So I'm going to do the first beat and then you're going to copy. Are you ready? Listen closely. Everyone have your listening ears. Okay. So clap, clap, shh. Now your turn, okay? Clap, clap, shh. Clap, clap, pat. Good job. So now we're gonna do another one, okay? Pat, pat, clap. Clap, clap, pat. Your turn. Clap, pat, clap. Clap, clap, pat. And you're doing such a good job. So now that you know how the beat goes, we're gonna talk about melody. And a melody is a series of different sounds in a piece of music. So for example, in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, that is a song with a melody. And the melody goes, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The notes that make the song are the melody. So we learned a whole lot about music and musical instruments today. Did you have fun? Great, me too. I can't wait to learn more with you next week. Bye.